Hi, my name is Rick. I'm an engineer at Simbex in Lebanon, New Hampshire. We were approached a couple of weeks ago by um, a doctor at Dartmouth Hitchcock Medical Center, which is a local facility. He asked us to look into how we could use ultraviolet light to be able to disinfect and reuse N95 masks. So the idea was, how can we build a simple and effective way to disinfect N95 masks from commonly available materials, something you get at a local hardware store. So the first thing that I started with was a storage container. This is a 65 gallon storage container that's commonly available. The reason this size was selected was so we could put a number of masks across the center. On the outside of the unit, you'll see a timer. This is uh, typical of the timers that they used to have at the old motels for timing down the, the lights in the, in the bathrooms. It's basically a mechanical timer. And you set this timer for the amount of time that you want to uh, spend in the disinfection cycle within the unit. The key to generating ultraviolet light is you need to either use something like a fluorescent tool, tube similar to this. This is a, a UV-C um, fluorescent light generates energy at 254 nanometers. A little bit different than the conventional fluorescent lamps, but uses the same types of fixtures. If you look down in here, you'll see this is something that's very common. You might have these in your basement, these fluorescent light fixtures. And you can't quite see the bulbs in here, but there are two UV bulbs on either side. There's also, off to the left here, there's a safety switch. So the idea is when the cover's open, the safety switch opens, and the system turns off. Right now the system is off, so the safety switch has no effect. But the idea would be when the cover's down, the system can operate. If you accidentally lift the cover in the middle of a cycle, the switch goes up and the lights turn off, preventing harm to people. Uh, UV light at this frequency is particularly damaging to your outer skin cells and your, and your eyes, so you definitely want to avoid it. Okay, so this is how you use the device. There's this thing we're calling a frame. The frame holds masks. Uh, right now this frame holds six masks. There are other frames that may hold four masks. You stretch the masks out like this across the frame, front and back. Once the frame is loaded, you put it inside the fixture. And there are a couple of Velcro straps that simply ad adhese it roughly in the center. And now you're ready to go. It's that simple. Close the top, and you set the timer for the desired time, and the UV uh, irradiation begins. Once every 10 to 15 cycles, I would suggest we do kind of a test. The test uses a UV meter. This is an ultraviolet UV-C meter. There's a small place down in the center here where you can place the sensor first on one side, then on the other side. Close the top. And let's do that, actually. Let's set the timer for a very short period of time. And you'll see immediately the UV light measured jumps up very substantially. Right now it's 6,764 microwatts per centimeter square. As long as it's over 4,000, you're fine. So every 10 to 15 cycles, you're doing a check just to make sure that the fluorescent lights, the ultraviolet fluorescent lights, are working correctly. And that's it. The lights have a lifetime uh, that will last more than a year in this application of continuous use, so there's no problem with them degrading. They'll continue to output uh, virtually the same amount of light over, the, over that useful period. So we spent considerable time online looking at the literature back in the past and up to the present, and we feel confident that this will be effective in disinfecting N95 masks, given the data that we've taken.